Bananas in pyjamas are coming down the stairs. Bananas in pyjamas are coming down in pairs. Bananas in pyjamas are chasing teddy bears. Cause on Tuesdays they will try to catch them on the way. Let's try it one more time, B1. One more time it is, B2. <gasps> oh no, Big Bad Wolf. We won't let you in. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. Banana tastic! We're going to have so much fun being piggies in the three little piggies. Let's join the others for rehearsals. I love putting on plays, B2. Especially with our friends, B1. Let's make sure we've got the story right. The three little piggies each build a house. One house of straw, one house of sticks and one house of bricks. Then the big bad wolf comes along. Ah! <laughs> got you there, bananas. Now tell me, was I scary? Very, very scary. That's what I want. The big bad wolf must be scary. I'm going to ask Lulu if I can be the wolf in the play. You'll be a pyjama rific wolf, Rat. My thoughts exactly. Only a great actor like me can play a role like the big bad wolf. I'll meet you at rehearsal. I want to ask Lulu if I can be the big bad wolf. So I've got a huff and puff. You'll be a banana-tastic wolf, Topsy. <laughs> I think so too. See you at the rehearsal. Topsy will be a great big bad wolf. Just like Rat. Oopsie! Rat and Topsy both want to be the wolf. That's too many wolves. Poor Lulu. She'll have to choose. But Lulu, I'll be the better wolf. No one can act like me. Um, I'm the best wolf here, Lulu. No one can scare like me. Oh, I think you could both be good wolves. So I don't know how to choose. Here are the bananas. They'll tell you I should be the wolf. Uh, don't listen to him, bananas. There's only one wolf here and we know who that will be, right? Uh, you're both good. Both? You can both be wolves. Good thinking, bananas. We can have two wolves. Well, if two wolves is the only way to do it, then I suppose I'll have to agree. And what do you say, Topsy? If there's no other way, then two wolves it is. Banana-tastic! <laughs> Let's begin the rehearsal, everyone. Once upon a time, there were three little piggies. Each piggy had to build a home to live in. This little piggy made a house of straw. This little piggy made a house of sticks. And this little piggy made a house of bricks. All the little piggies were snug and warm in their new homes. But little did they know that the big bad wolf... Uh, uh, wolves were coming. They were prowling and howling. Oh. Topsy, that isn't how you prowl. This is how you prowl. Grrr! Then you howl. Ow! That's no how. This is a how. Ow! Oh, I can howl better in my sleep. Keep it going, everyone. We've only got one rehearsal. Little pig, little pig, let us come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. That's great piggy acting, B1. It is, B1. And I should know, I am a piggy. Please stick to the story, piggies. Sorry. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and blow your house in. <gasps> the little piggy's house of straw blew away. <laughs> The wolves laughed at what they had done. <laughs> oh, you don't know how a big bad wolf really laughs, Rat. It's like this. <laughs> That's no wolf laugh. This is a wolf laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Oh, let's all take.
take a break. Oh dear, why did I say there could be two wolves? It'll never work. Really, Topsy? You're going to have to do much better. <gasps> it's you who has to improve, Rat. <clears throat> oh, everyone's going to be here soon to see the play. I do hope there are no more problems. Lulu, I have a problem. <clears throat> Me too. What problem? The story doesn't make sense anymore. Two wolves together would blow down any house, even if it was made of bricks. But they can't blow down the piggy house of bricks. Otherwise, the story will be ruined. That's why we have to change the story. Change the story? I agree with Rat. We need a new story right now. But this is the greatest piggy story there is. You can't change it. Yes, we can. We should change it so that the wolves are the heroes. <gasps> That's it. I'm going. Let Pedro go if he wants to. We don't need him. We'll just call the play The Two Little Piggies. Yes, and now we wolves are the stars. Hey, we should change the title too. An excellent idea, Topsy. We'll call the play The Two Big Bad Wolves. Right on, Rat! But we don't want to be in the two big bad wolves. We want to be in the three little piggies. Sorry, Bananas. We've already changed it. <laughs> bananas, where are you going? <laughs> Pedro! Ah, this is much better without all those piggies around. All we have to do is make up a new story. Let's start with us, howling and prowling. Right. Oh. Oh. Uh, what do we do then? Um, what do you think we should do? We should, uh, I don't know. Oh, this is no good at all. We have to think of something. Oh, no. Everyone's coming to see the play. Well, there's no time to think up a new story. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, we have to get those piggies back! Then let's find them! <laughs> Can you see Pedro? I can't see anyone! Whoa! We found Pedro! What are you doing here, bananas? We're looking for you! You've got to come back, Pedro. The play can't work without you. I don't want to be in the play with those two wolves changing everything. But all our friends are coming to see it. We can't let them down. Oh, I know. Please come back, Pedro. Our friends will be so upset if we don't put on a play for them. They've all been looking forward to it so much. I don't like it, but all right but only because of our friends. Bananatastic! <laughs> He's not here. I can't find him either. Where can he be? Teddy's! We need you. We can't do the play without you. Or Pedro. Or the bananas. We won't make any more trouble. That's great, but we can't do the play now. It's too late. Too late? How can it be too late? We can't find the bananas or Pedro. What? what? We better go and apologise to everyone. I hope they won't be too disappointed. This is all your fault, Topsy. It's your fault, Rat. <laughs> <laughs> and the wolf huffed and puffed, but he couldn't blow down the house of bricks. <gasps> Pedro and the bananas are doing the play without us. That's impossible. No, it isn't. So the wolf dropped down the chimney, but he landed right in the fire and burned his bushy tail. <laughs> he ran away as fast as he could, and the piggies never saw him again. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Cheese and whiskers! They did do it without us! And brilliantly! You three really deserve your honey cake!
weeks after that great show. Thank you. But why didn't you wait for us? We couldn't wait. Everyone was ready to see the play. So we had to do it all. And with the proper story too. But we wanted to be the wolves. We would have been excellent wolves. Maybe you can be wolves some other time. Next time, we'll do a play about Little Red Riding Hood. That story has a wolf. You're right, Bananas. It does. Except our story will have two wolves. And you can both be wolves like this. <laughs> <laughs> of the day. What's that? Hello? Is someone there? Oh, I'm sure I heard something. Huh? My jelly. Where's my jelly? Well, that's jelly. Well, there's a trail of jelly. Well, this is very strange. Where does this jelly trail lead? Jelly. And more jelly. This is where the trail ends. Oh, what's wrong with that fountain? Is that a... Ah! It's a jelly. My jelly? Oh, I found you. You're safe with me now. But this jelly's red. My jelly was yellow. How can that be? Oh, my. Two jellies? Is it possible? Oh, a third jelly? Oh, this is incredible! A fountain that gushes jelly like water! And I found it. Me! <laughs> Rat in a hat! Oh, I must tell everyone! have any what, Rat? What's the secret? Oh. <laughs> There's no secret. And if there was a secret, it wouldn't be about jellies. Oh, trust me, I'm a rat. Um, okay, Rat. Bye then. Uh, what are you doing? We're just going for a walk. To the park. You can't go to the park. Why not? There's something down there. Something big. Oh, nasty. <laughs> Very nasty. Really? Yes. And you should stay right away from it. <laughs> what is it? It's a... It's lions. Lions? Yes, lions. You don't want to go near lions. Oh, they're very dangerous. Especially towards bananas. Gosh. We'd better warn all our friends. Yes, good idea, bananas. Tell everyone to stay well away from the park. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? <gasps> I think I am, B1. It's warn everyone about lion's time! <laughs> oh, silly rat. Couldn't you think of something better than lions? Oh, cheese and whiskers. Uh, after you again, B2. After you again, B1. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah! Teddies, we've got to tell you something. What is it, Bananas? We've got lions! Lions? Lions here in Cuddlestown! Lions? In Cuddlestown? Yes! Did you see them? No, but Rat told us all about them! Rat told you? He said they're in the park! And we should stay right away! Because they're very dangerous! Bananas! There are no lions in Cuddlestown! But why would Rat tell us that if it isn't true? Because he's up to something. 
and we're going to find out what it is. Oh! I can't let them get any closer to my jelly fountain than this. Hello, Rat. We've come to see what's going on. Stay back! Don't come any closer! There are lions in there! Where, Rat? They're, they're, they're hiding! They could jump out at any moment! <gasps> so, when did these lions get here, Rat? Just this morning. And they're hiding? That's right, hiding. Lions do hide, you know. When will they come out? Well, that's up to the lions. They're so tricky, you might never see them. Move along now. You can't stay here. It's much too dangerous. We're going, Rat. We don't want to stay if there's lions around. Quite right, Bananas. Keep away. <laughs> Let's go home. I want to show you something. Oh, that was close. But they'll be back. Oh, I need something to make them believe there really are lions. And I think I have it. <laughs> I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. Look at that. Ooh. Now they are lions. Wow. And lions live in Africa. They've never lived in Cuddlestown, and they never will live in Cuddlestown. But rats said they've just moved in this morning. How would they move from Africa to Cuddlestown? Ah. Uh, they took the bus? They must have taken the bus. Hmm, there's nothing here in the book about lions taking a bus. Then why is Rat saying there are lions here? It must be a rat trick. So let's get to the bottom of this trick. Here it is. It's just what I need. Well, this old lion costume will definitely keep everyone away. Oh, hold on. Where's the rest of the costume? Oh, I've only got the mask. Oh, well, it'll have to do. Oh, oh I can't see a thing. Oh, oh, cheese and whiskers. Can anyone see any lions? No. Look, over there. A lion! I look like a lion. Now to sound like one. Oh. Oh. That lion is howling. Lions don't howl. Wolves howl. Wait a moment, what am I doing? Lions don't howl, they roar. <laughs> Silly rat. Roar! Roar! That's no lion. Look on the other side of the tree. Roar! Roar! That thing might have the head of a lion, but it's got the tail of a rat in a hat. You can stop doing that now, rat. Why are you pretending to be a lion? Meow! Oh, cheese and whiskers. I must protect my jelly fountain. Follow that lion. I mean, uh, follow that rat in a hat. Oh, the fountain is mine. Uh. Oh. Oh! He's fallen in the fountain. Don't worry, Rat. We'll get you out. So, Rat, would you like to tell us what you're doing? Never you mind. You just leave my fountain alone. I saw it first. But why do you want the fountain, Rat? Is it special? It certainly is. I've got it! It's a jelly. And it's mine, because this is my jelly fountain. Jelly fountain? That's right! A fountain that gushes up jellies, and I discovered it. Rat, there's no such thing as a jelly fountain. Just like there are no lions in Cuddlestown. Then you explain this jelly to me! Look at that! A jelly dropped from the tree and right into the fountain. I don't understand this at all. There it is! It's 
just like before. <laughs> it's our possum friend. Hello there. <laughs> and she's taken the jelly. I think that's your explanation, Rat. <laughs> I don't believe it. The possum. Oh, cheese and whiskers. It was our possum friend all along. <laughs> she says sorry. She just likes jelly so much. And they were dropping into the fountain. <sighs> well, now that I think about it, a fountain of jelly does seem a little silly. You wanted to believe it, Rat, because you were greedy for jellies. Me? Greedy? Yes! yes. Well, maybe I was a little greedy. We forgive you, Rat. I suppose I only have one thing to say now. Jellies, anyone? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh, you rat in a it for a big ride. Oh dear, terrible. This won't do at all. Is something wrong, Rat? There certainly is something wrong. It's your scooter. What's the problem? It's looking very shabby. Shabby? shabby? We don't want our scooter to be shabby. Well, this is your lucky day. I have the very things to make your scooter look brilliant. Banana-tastic! And you can have them all for just a few honey cakes. Great! Follow me! After you, B2. After you, B1. Oomph! After you again, B2. After you again, B1. Thank you. This is what you need, bananas, stickers, glitter and streamers. Very nice, Rat. But there's so much. Maybe we'll just take some of them. Maybe just... One honey cake's worth. One honey cake? Bananas, these are very precious. They're worth at least three honey cakes, and you must take all of them. Why? Put everything on your scooter, and it will look amazing. So amazing, it might even fly. Fly? Really, truly fly? Fly, bananas, like a bird in the sky. How far? How far? Oh, oh, at least across the lake. Wow! <laughs> banana -rific. We'll take the lot, Rat, and get ready to fly over the lake. Good luck, Bananas! Oh, and don't forget to drop in those three honey cakes, will you? We won't, Rat! Oh, at last. I've been wanting to get rid of that box of rubbish for ages. <laughs> I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. Did they say fly over the lake? Oh, <laughs> they wouldn't really try it, would they? Rat was right. It does look amazing. Hey, good work, Bananas. Your scooter's looking great. Thanks, Teddies. It's all ready to fly. Fly? We're going to use our scooter to soar over the lake. Fly over the lake? Well, you can't do that. It won't be safe. 
Don't worry, Teddies. We've got a plan. We'll go to the top of Cuddlestown Hill. Then down we go. We'll go so fast, we'll fly right over the lake. Easy. We've got to stop the bananas. They can't fly over the lake on a scooter. They might get hurt if they try. But how can we stop them? I don't know. Even if they had a super scooter, they've had no training or practice. Morgan, that's it. What's it? The way to stop the bananas. <laughs> ready for the big jump, B2? I couldn't be more ready, B1. Good morning, bananas. Ah, oh, hello, teddies. Have you come to watch us fly over the lake? We have. And we also want to help you do it. Banana-tastic! To fly over the lake, Bananas, you need to be fit and strong. Ha! Ah, we're fit and strong. But we're not sure if you're fit and strong enough, Bananas. You need to do lots of training. We do? Lots and lots of training. Oh! But it's OK, Bananas, because we're here to be your coaches. So let's get going. <laughs> We've set up the park for your training, Bananas, and here it is. An obstacle course. Obstacle course? And the first obstacle is the zigzag around those cones. Off you go, Bananas. Yeah. Zigzag! In and out. Back and forth. Uh, uh, okay, I think. S sort of. <laughs> Let's get the bananas so tired that they won't want to fly over a puddle, let alone a lake. <laughs> <laughs> you can't lie down, bananas. This is training time. Go, go, go! Skip, skip, skip. Tired, Teddies. But we're very happy that our training's finished. Finished? You got lots more training to do. More training? You're not ready for a big jump over the lake yet. When will we be ready? It's going to take months and months of training. Just like today, but even harder. Oh no! And you won't be able to do anything else but training. No going to the beach. No. No playing games with us. It'll just be training, training, training. No beach. No picnics. No, no games. games. Sorry, bananas. Look, we've been thinking, Teddies. We don't want to give up picnics or the beach. And we especially don't want to give up games. So we're not going to do the big jump. That's, uh, that's too bad. Are you sure, Bananas? No big jump for us. And no flying either. OK, then. If that's what you want. We do. Right, then. Instead of flying over the lake, how about having a picnic tomorrow? Banana-tastic! What a beautiful morning, B2. The perfect morning for a picnic by the lake. And a ride on our scooter. Even though we won't fly across the lake, we can still have fun just scooting. I haven't seen the bananas for a whole day. I do hope they didn't believe me when I said they could fly on their scooter. Whee! Good morning, Rat. There you are, bananas. I see your scooter is looking quite spectacular. Thanks to you, Rat. My pleasure, Bananas. So, where are you scooting to today? We're going up to the top of that hill. Then all the way down to the lake. We'll see you later. We've got to fly. Whee! See you, Bananas. Oh. Fly? Did they say fly? Going to the top of the hill, then all the way down to the lake. 
The wool cheese and whiskers. I have to stop them. Bananas! What a wonderful view, B2. Cuddles Town is beautiful, B1. <laughs> Bananas! Don't do it! I didn't mean it! The scooter won't fly! You can't go over the lake! It's okay, rat. We're not going to try. Why are we moving? Oh, dear! Ah! Our plan worked so well yesterday. The bananas will never try to fly across the lake now. They'll be perfectly safe. Ah! Huh? Oh, no! They are going to try it! Stop, bananas! Stop! Ah! Hit the brakes! No brakes! The lake! We're heading right for the lake! But we don't want to fly! We're not ready! It's too late! <laughs> oh, cheese and whiskers. At least we now know you can't do the big jump, Bananas. Because you can't get up enough speed to fly over the lake. Even if you start from the very top of Cuddlestown Hill. Of course, I knew that all the time. That's why I was trying to stop you, Bananas, so you wouldn't get hurt. But, Rat, you said if we put all that stuff you gave us on our scooter, it could fly. That's why we gave you the honey cakes you asked for. You took honey cakes from the Bananas? Uh, uh, only a few. Uh, I just borrowed them. I'll give them back. So you haven't eaten them yet? Well, just one or two. All three, maybe. What? How could you? I'll make it up to you, Bananas. I'll give you free ice creams for a whole week. A month. All right, a month. What do you say, Bananas? Banana-tastic! Oh, no. Oh, not again. Oh, oh Don't worry, Amy. We'll get it. <laughs> After you, B2. After you, B1. Oh. <laughs> After you again, B2. After you again, B1. Thank, Thank you. you. Ah. Ah, honey. We'll get it. Ah. Thanks, Bananas. No problem, Morgan. Here's the milk. Thanks, Bananas. Now let's have breakfast. Who wants toast and honey? I'd love some. Toast for Morgan. And my friend Pippi would like some too. Toast for Pippi. Um, where is Pippi? Who is Pippi? Pippi is my new friend. And he's right here. What? There's no one there, Morgan. Yes, there is. But you can't see Pippi because he's invisible. Wow. We've never met an invisible friend. This is Banana-tastic. Hello, Hello Pippi. Pippi. Pippi's very shy, Bananas. He'll only talk to me. What's that, Pippi? Pippi says he likes you, Bananas. Thanks, Pippi. We like making new friends. Especially new invisible friends. OK, Pippi. Pippi says he doesn't like toast, so I'll have to eat his slice as well as mine. Is Morgan trying to play some sort of trick on us? I think he is, but let's wait and see. Would Pippi like to play a game with us? Right after breakfast? Pippi says he would love that. banana -rific! What would Pippi like to play? We'll play anything he likes. Pippi wants to play tag. Pippi's it, so start running, Bananas! Pippi's after you, Bananas! <laughs> He's behind you! <laughs> He's in front of you now! <laughs> there he is, look out! <laughs> Sorry, Bananas, Pippi's tagged you both now. Pippi is a great tag player. What other games does Pippi like? He really loves hide and seek. When he hides, you can never find him! <laughs> Good morning, Rat! Oh, uh, uh, morning, everyone. Oh, 
am I pleased to see you? I've been so busy all morning, it's just been go, 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 go. We'd like you to meet our new friend, Pippi. He's on your other side, Bananas. Whoopsie! Here's Pippi. Pippi? I can't see any Pippi. Pippi's my new invisible friend. Ah, oh, right. An invisible friend. Oh, hello, Pippi. I'm Rat in a Hat. We've come to get some ice creams. It was Pippi's idea. Uh, go inside and help yourselves. Choose whatever you like. Thanks, Thanks Rat. Rat. <laughs> the old invisible friend trick. I've played that one many a time. Well, Morgan's going to find that he can't play an old trick on a tricky rat. We've got our ice creams, Rat. But we do need another one for Pippi. Sorry, Pippi. We didn't mean to forget you. Pippi says he doesn't want his ice cream, so I'll have to eat it as well as my own. <laughs> Since you have a new friend, Morgan, you really should get new games to play. That's a terrific idea. Let's get new games for Pippi. And not only new games, you should also get some new colouring pencils, colouring books, crayon, jigsaw puzzles, balls, books, <laughs> building blocks. Does Pippi like all these new things, Morgan? Pippi says he loves all these new things. Banana-tastic! I'm so happy that he loves them. And it will only cost you three honey cakes, Morgan. Three honey cakes? But I don't have three honey cakes. <laughs> That's all right. You can give them to me later. Uh, maybe we don't need all these things for Pippi. But you do. Pippi is your friend, isn't he? Yes, but... Rat's right. A new friend deserves lots of great things. Thank you, Rat. Ah, uh, yeah, thanks, Rat. Thank you, Bananas and Morgan. Enjoy your new things, Pippi. <laughs> I'll show Morgan he can't out-trick me. When it comes to tricks, Rat's the trickiest of them all. And I've got even more tricks to play. Amy! Lulu! Look at all the wonderful things we got from Rat's shop. They're all for Pippi. All that? For an invisible friend? That's right. We're going to have so much fun with Pippi. You take everything into the lounge room, Bananas. We'll bring the rest of our lunch in a moment. Don't forget to make enough for Pippi too. He's probably very hungry. Um, I'll also need three of those honey cakes for Rat, please. Three for Rat? Why? He tricked me. How? I've got to tell you something. Pippi isn't real. <laughs> we know that, Morgan. You do? And Rat must know too. I think he does, which is why he sold me all those things that I don't need. You should be careful when you play tricks, Morgan. They can turn into tricks against yourself. I know. And you should also tell the bananas the truth about Pippi. I know. Yoo-hoo! Hello, Rat. We're doing a jigsaw with Pippi. Wonderful. I was just delivering the mail and thought I'd drop in and get those honey cakes Morgan owes me. There's plenty here, Rat. So I see. In which case, Bananas, uh, perhaps my friends can have some too. Uh, what friends, Rat? Oh, oh, didn't I tell you? I've had a visit from my old invisible friends. Can we meet them? Of course. Here's Fizzer, Dinks, Jello, Crumbs, and Sassy. Uh, bye, bananas. Oh, come along, friends. <laughs> Here's lunch, bananas. Pajama rific. Come on, Pippi. Let's have lunch. Bananas? Where are all the honey cakes? Rap took them for his invisible friends. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, he's gone. We said Rat could have the honey cakes. Did we do wrong? He's tricked you, Bananas. Rat has no invisible friends. Really? There's something I've got to tell you about Pippi, too. Oh, what's the matter? Is he sick? Um, Pippi isn't real, Bananas. He's a trick, too. Pippi's a trick? I just made him up so I could have some fun and get some more food treats. Oh! I'm very sorry, Bananas. We were really getting to like Pippi. Now rats use the same trick to steal our honey cakes. 
What can we do about it? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Trick Rat Back Time! Time for my honey cake picnic. All these honey cakes, thanks to some friends who aren't even real. Oh. We are real rats. Huh? Hello? Are you going to share those honey cakes? Who said that? It's me, your friend, Fizzer. I'm up in the tree. You can't be! You're not real! Do you want to play catch, rat? Huh? Who threw that? That was me, Crumbs. You can't be Crumbs. There is no Crumbs. I made Crumbs up! Play with your friend Jello, rat. Catch! Oh, no, stop doing that, Jello. Uh, I, I mean, not that you're really there. You can't be! I'm here, rat! Your friend, Sissy! Ride my skateboard, Rat. You love playing with me, your friend Dinks. No, you can't be there. Go away. Leave me alone. <laughs> that was great. Rat really fell for it. And we got our honey cakes back. We've outtripped the trickiest trickster of them all. Maybe we should tell Rat that it was a trick. He did look very worried. He might run all the way out of Cuddlestown. We might never see him again. You're right, Bananas. This trick has done its work. Rat, come back! <laughs> Are they following me? Oh, but how would I know? They're invisible. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 oh. oh! Rat, are you okay? Say something! I'm... I'm okay, but, but you've got to hide. They're real, and they're here! <laughs> <laughs> they're not real, Rat. We were pretending to be them. It was a trick! But the voices, and the balls, and the skateboards! Oh, cheese and whiskers. It was a trick! A trick for tricking us out of our honey cakes. And isn't there something else, Morgan? I know. I guess I started the trick, so I'm sorry too, Rat. <laughs> A trick? <laughs> I knew that all the time. I was just tricking you into thinking you were tricking me. <laughs> Let's all agree. From now on, no more tricks with invisible friends. Good idea, Lulu. And our friends, Jink and Muggs, they agree too. Jink and Mugs? Who are they? Where are they? What are they? Tricked you! Oh!